right everyone today we've got something special but first of all let's just look at this car because I can't believe my car is actually like this because you know, I actually get compliments saying how clean and tidy my car is but just look at this I mean just look at the state of this <laughs> I can't believe my car is actually like this but as I say we're fitting car parts so it's all good so yeah we're going to be fitting the rear strut bar today and the company I'm dealing with is RJH Auto Style. You may have heard of them, you may not have. But um, I'm sort of feeling lucky really because I think I'm the first customer to be installing this uh, item and definitely the first person to be installing to the Ford Focus Mark II ST from this seller. Um, unless someone's beat me to it by the time this video gets released. So yeah, I've been messaging the bloke who runs it and there's a few hiccups along the way as with any new item. Uh, which I'll show you once I show you what tools you need etc. So before we get to the car and fit it, I'm going to quickly run through what stuff you need so you can get yourselves organised and then we'll get to the car and fit it. So, screwdriver with an extender to help get to the bolts in the wheel arch. A 13mm socket for the new bolt. 10mm for the old one. Now if you can see the difference between the original and the new, you've got a bit more thread on that one if it's going to focus, which I don't think it is. But yeah, that's definitely needed to be fitting the new struts. And you've got a few goodies in there. Now I have put two bolts in already to show you that on the next step. But you get four small ones and you've got some flat washers here, or spacers, whatever you want to call it. And this is what I mentioned earlier. When fitting these in the wheel arch, there's a bit too big and you can see them all bent. Um, so what I recommend doing is getting a few spare washers from tool station or anywhere like that. Get a multi-pack for a couple of quid and just use them instead. And then T25 to get the carpet, uh, rear carpet out of the boot. And obviously your wheel to get your wheels off. And then there's an optional extra some Loctite uh, which I think you're going to be doing as an optional extra when you purchase the strut bar if you want it or not it's not necessary but I'm going to add it in for a couple of quid it's just safer really so yeah so yeah I'm going to get to the car now and get installing this is all I've currently done uh, already and then you should have used the large flat washers there now you could use the spare washers that come with the pack on top of the strut but if you want a clean look and also if you're going to leave the carpet out then I'd just say use a small washer and nut on top of that and the original one and that's the original size and while we're there that's a little screw hole there to get your carpet out literally all we do is tie it out and literally just work it out really so for difficulty to fit this I'm going to say out of 5 being the hardest i say it's better 2 and the only reason I'm saying 2 is because it's just a bit of hassle getting all the get a car jacked up and stuff like that so yeah I'm going to get these two bolts out and make a start As you can see, I'm just trying to open these up. My smell is just trying to get it, just trying to get it open. Just put a dab of lock tight there.
So there we have it everyone. Um, what I would recommend is just tighten these bolts up here to stop that rattling. And pretty much that's it. So overall, very happy. And if I put the carpet back in, you just have to just cut round the edges, I reckon. I'll take these off, I should imagine, and then fit them back on afterwards or whichever. But yeah, that's that's everything. So I hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully there's more to come.